Well, there you go, everybody. So, um, a bit of an update um, from the other weekend. I haven't done anything like Saturday afternoon now. Um, now, <clears> the <throat> other night, I managed to get some measurements off, off another guy with, with a dodge, with one of these dodges, because uh, I was concerned about the hole in the bonnet was going to be not in the right place um, because of they had a completely different motor and drive um, motor and transmission out of a completely different maker vehicle and then they'd modified that um, subframe and all that sort of bits and pieces and obviously they'd put the um, motor dead center in the engine bay because um, this hole is pretty much dead center in the bonnet like with that rib anyway so the air cleaner as far as I know it's meant to be where that green circle is um, if you'd had it tall enough to stick through the bonnet so um and I was sort of because it's got a hole in the bonnet I'm going to try and make I'm going to see if I can get a, a carb spacer to lift the air cleaner up to the bonnet and help with a bit of air speed in the in the engine so my plan is because this hole's way off what I'm going to do is I'm going to mirror that distance from the other onto the other side and I'm going to basically sort of make a, a rounded off corner square in here. Um, I'm basically not going to take it past this. I'll, I'll just sneak it on the outside of that and make it a little bit bigger. And I'll just make it sort of square across here and, and back down here so it's even with the side. So at least the hole is still symmetrical in the bonnet. So, so when you open the bonnet, it's not queer off to one side. Obviously, the motor's going to be, they sit to one side anyway in these things. Um, and when the bonnet's up, most people aren't going to notice that it's, it is very slightly to one side, except for, you know, most people know that Chrysler's are all sit to one side for some reason. Um, it was Chrysler's wisdom when they built these things. They allowed an extra bit of clearance on the, um, on the left-hand side for steering boxes. But in um, Chrysler Australia's wisdom, they never shifted anything even in the valiance and right, right up to the last and they, they never shifted anything they just used the cross members as they were come from the states for the depending on what body platform they were in whether it was a body b body c body whatever they just used whatever they had and um just used them so that's my plan so i'm going to mark this bonnet out um and get this make a, a nice square hole in here um, and I'll probably cut that out today so at least then I can finish cleaning this bonnet up and we can get this all prepped and sorted out too and um, I'll probably do something with the bracing in here I'll, I'm not sure but I might come along and I might just I might actually make a little short um, when I get it done I might actually work out what the total distance is and I might see if I can get a strip of steel and bend it around in there and actually make a nice clean hole and actually weld it and make it about as deep as what those braces are. Um, or a little bit higher, I don't know, we'll sort something out. And so yeah, and then that'll be covered by the a bonnet scoop. And I'm contemplating making a, um, a base plate for the air cleaner to go underneath the air cleaner to push up against the bottom of the bonnet so as the cold air comes in it's not getting the hot air from the and around the motor so that keeps the air charge going into the engine as cool as possible which will always help for horsepower too yeah you'll gain a little bit um so yeah we'll get into measuring this out and i'll draw the hole out and then i'll cut it all right cheers all righty guys i've got the hole cut here well, I'm not cut, drawn out. So you can see how big I'm going to make it. So it's a fairly large hole. Um, it would be nice to um, not have to have all this up here extra. Um, you know, it would have been just nice to cut the hole for the actual air cleaner and, you know, leave a bit of gap. But it is what it is. It was already there. There's not much I can do about it. And I just want to make it look... <clears throat> When you open the bonnet and make it look decent anyway. Um, so 
so yeah I'll, I'll get a cutting disc in my grinder now and um, I'll cut that out and then I'll start working out what I'm going to do to um, make some other bits and pieces up to, to make this decent and then um, I'm also trying to work out what I'm going to do for that for the um, wood ornament because you know I sort of need to get all this sort of stuff so done you know like if I, as I get it all done at least then I can want to get all this sort of stuff sorted before I really get into um, starting to rub this back ready for filler and, and high build and all the rest of it so all the little bits of all the funny little bits of metal work now all these extra pieces the bonnet um, and get all the front bumper and the back bumper done and and suss out any other little bits and pieces I've got to fix that have got to be have paint on them of one colour or another. Um, I'm having, well, having a wee look um, while I'm talking about bumpers and chrome and, or, and stuff like that. Sort of that, I don't know, you've probably seen a lot of the modern cars now have got that sort of almost, it's not really chromey paint, but it's, oh, it's heading towards that sort of look. I'm going to try and see if I can get one of those sort of smoky, silvery, heading towards chromey paints that you see on, on a lot of wheels, factory wheels. Um, I'm going to see if I can get something like that mixed, and I'll paint the, the bumpers and all the trim on here that's already been painted. Um, but it was all painted white um, when the rest of the car was white, which to me looks stupid. Like if you're going to paint trim, paint it a different colour, at least then it breaks the car. Because even all around the tail, it's been painted. So I'm going to paint all that sort of stuff too. Um, and what I may do with the boot lid, I just had a thought about that. Since I don't have the trim, I may, um, I may mask those lines out after I paint the car green um, and make that match and I might just, just paint them silver or paint them with the same painters are going to do the bumpers and the and all the, the other bits of trim that I need to paint. The only thing I'm not going to paint is door handles and stuff like that because they're fine and I'm not going to bugger around with them. I'll just, I'll just leave them chrome. Um, yeah, because it's not worth bugging around with because eventually, like, if I could find the, the right trim, I would put everything back to chrome. Um, but we'll see, you know. And it all depends on what happens in the next few months with going to the States and all that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's a possibility. That's probably what I'll do. Is I'll paint all this stuff the same as what I'm going to paint the bumpers and the other bits and pieces. And I might do the tops of these door frames like that too. Um, I need to look a bit harder. I think this bit's body colour on most of these cars. And even that bit's meant to be chrome too. I don't know where all the all the trim went off this car. Um, you know, like it's it's had such a hard life, and it was all these lines being beaten. I reckon all that trim's been damaged. So I'll probably paint paint these too. Paint around here, like mask. Probably mask it off. Paint it, or I might just paint it and just let it blow out here, and then I'll yeah mask it off. Um, and then we'll paint the car green, or I'll paint it afterwards. We'll, I'll work that out later. But yeah, I'll get this whole cut and um, start doing, figure out what I'm going to do with that. And then I might even work out the base plate. Well, it's probably not, I probably can't really work out a base plate for the motor because I know where the central point is, but I don't, you know, I really probably need the motor there so I can actually measure it properly. and just in case there are a few millimetres different. Because, yeah, I don't want to make a base plate that I can put underneath that that I can sit the air cleaner on top of. Um, so you can get that cold air, get the efficiency of the cold air, and not fill the engine bay full of, um, not fill the air cleaner full of hot air, full of, full of cool air, since, since I'm going to have cool air available, so cold air intake on the Dodge. Alrighty. Anyway, cheers.
I think I fixed the hole in the bonnet problem not being in the right place. Just make a larger one. So basically I just made it even both sides of the centre rib to what that one there would have taken out to if I'd done it to one side. Um, so I just made it even both sides and made it as far forward as this one here went. So yeah, now I'm just going to make up some make a bracing to go around the outside and put some pieces at some point. Um, I don't know if that'll be today, but I'm going to make like a little um, like a little rib that goes or lip that goes all the way around. So when I get the motor in there, eventually I'll make a base plate that comes back up to it and um, make it so it's cold air. So that should fix my um, hole in the bonnet problem, and then we'll get a bonnet scoop to go over it. Um, if I can't get something that's going to fit, I'll just make something. I'll make it like a sort of a low-profile hemi-style scoop, a couple inches at the front, maybe an inch, an inch or so at the back. So yeah, Roddy. Yeah, yeah, there, Roddy. Um, so progress on the bonnet. Um, sorry about the shaking there. I'm going to make a um, strip to go up and around here to um, make this look heaps tidier. Um, so this isn't probably long enough, but I'm probably going to have to make it a couple of sections. I haven't got any longer material here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this off along this edge. I put that through the bead roller before. So I'm going to trim that off and I'm going to try and bend it round in here the best I can. Hopefully I can get it in there nice and tidily. And I'm going to put that little lip at the bottom. So it's just not a, a flat edge. It's got a wee bit of strength in it. Um, so eventually when we get the motor and everything in, I'll make a as I said, I'll make a, um, a base plate up for the air cleaner that um, comes up and I'll try and make it meet in here with a with a rubber gasket or something eventually. Work that out later on. Um, so yeah, so at least the air that's coming in through the bonnet scoops coming direct into the, into the air cleaner and it's getting nice, cool, cold air when it's, when it's running down the road. What's well, going to be cool in there that's in the engine bay anyway, even if it is, you know, summertime um, and it's a real hot day, at least it's still going to be cooler than the air that's, you know, that's a couple of hundred degrees under the under the hood top, well, you know, but you know what I mean, like, you're going to get all that heat soaked from the exhaust and all that sort of stuff, because you're not going to get that, you're just going to get the, the air, the breeze from outside. So, I'll get to cutting this off. I bead rolled that before and took the bonnet back off the car. So yeah, we'll get it. I'll get in here and I'll work out how much I've got, and, and then make up another little bit to um, do the last of it. Righty, we'll get to it. Cheers. All right, there you go, everyone. So I've got this sort of almost finished tack, tacked in. Um, we'll end up having to make it in, in two pieces just because I didn't have enough length, obviously. Um, and I made a second piece. So I actually had this bit here running around to here, but um, it was actually holding pressure on this down, so I actually cut it off and I, my other piece wasn't quite long enough, so I just rejoined it on here. But I'm, I'll just cut it through here and join it, and I'll, then I'll have to make up a little... Um, I just put a little filler in here because I just haven't got quite enough height. Didn't realise that rib was was a bit higher than the other one. Um, was well, a little bit more higher. So I'm just going to go around and finish tacking this in, and then I'll turn it over. And before I weld it on this side, I'll I'll go around and I'll tack it on the bottoms of the, all the braces in here and get it all sort of situated on that. And then I'll just dolly up. All the little bits and pieces like get these corners a bit better shaped and stuff like that. So that'll be nice and strong and that'll give me something to um, bring the, um, when the air cleaner's in here, wherever it sits, probably off to the side a little bit. And that'll give me something to bring the base plate up onto and um, seal around. I may put a rubber, um, just a rubber gasket around here or something. 
just so it's got something to push up against. But that'll look a lot nicer than just cut open hole and it's all back up against the edge of the bracing underneath and all that sort of stuff. So I'll finish tacking this in, I'll trim that off and put a couple of tacks in that and then I'll turn the bonnet over and I'll clean up the other side and I'll let you see what it looks like from the other side. I'm hoping it looks as, you know, looks good from that side too. Anyway, I'll get into it. Um, I'll get a few more tacks along here because I've only just sort of tacked it in a couple of spots and bent it into the corner. So I'll get, a bit, I'll get it a bit more substantial along here. And um, you know, get a few more tacks like the other side and, and then I'll turn her over and and we'll make it a bit more um, a bit more fine or in here and then I'll give you another look when I've got it all sort of semi sorted on the other side and, and just see if I can get these corners shaped a little bit better. Um, those, these ones here these ones here actually rounded off a little bit because I probably just don't quite quite as much um, step in them but we'll be right we'll we'll sort that out. But that's gotta be lots better than the dirty hole that was in there before. Alrighty, cheers it around the top but I'm just going around and and I'm um, tacking it in and I'll just keep going around till I follow the follow the gaps get it all welded in solid um, that little look that I sort of turned over I did that to try and mimic, mimic what the inside of the ribs are like on the bonnet so it sort of all blends in looks like it's sort of meant to be that way so yeah she's coming along nicely now really solid when I'm finished be no flip or flocks um, you know won't be any flex in it that'd be good and good and strong there you go everybody so I'm wanting the final weld around the top now um, I, when I after attacked it in earlier on I flipped it over and I welded it all the way around the inside um, and strength I welded it across all the bracing and all that sort of stuff and I've got a good big nice heavy weld around there um, so now I've turned it over and I'm just welding the outer skin back up to the to the new piece and then it'll be a final clean up um, and the inside where I've welded I'll um I'll probably just put some bead sealer or smear of um just a light smear of filler around there just to, to hide the weld so that's when you open the bottom it's nice and clean so and um my little my little um bend out matches the um with the, all the bracing underneath it, sort of when it comes to the edge, it's got a little little flare up, so it looks good. It should it should look well. I wouldn't say factory, but it's going to look like it. It's meant to be like that. So um, yeah, that's sort of the update for that. Um, once I've finished welding it and cleaning it all up, I'll give you a decent shot of it all finished. Cheers. Alrighty, so hey, yeah, everybody. So I've got this all done, um, there is a fine little bit of dress up and there's a, just where it's been wowed around the edge, there's an odd little bit of weld that I've still got to clean up a bit better. Um, and I've got to do a wee bit more welding along here because when I turned the bonnet over I didn't realise what was sitting on the panel stands, it pushed this side down so I had to um, recut it and, and re-weld it. Yeah, because when I turned it over I was welding the underside and yeah, I didn't realise it was it was sitting down about that much. So I had to cut it and re-weld it on there. Um, there's you know, still the odd little bit to dress up, but I'm all but done. So I reckon that looks for the situation that I was in with the um, air cleaner being completely weak, air cleaner hole but being completely in the wrong place. Um, I think that's a pretty reasonable outcome now. So at least when you open the bonnet and this is all cleaned up and dressed up and all painted underneath and all tidied up, you know, like a wee smear of filler or something just round the inside where the weld is, just to nice, you know, round that off and make it look nice. Um, you know, that's a damn sight better than a the ugly hole that was there that had never been finished off. You now if it was in the right place, I could have done the same thing. I you know, put a nice round one of these in there, but. It is what it is, um, you know, and I didn't really want to have to spend four or five hundred dollars on another bonnet. Um, 
I didn't know where the one was, but it's way down the other end of the state, and the guy wants about, oh, I can't remember, it's about four or five hundred bucks for it. Um, you know, that's four or five hundred dollars I can spend on paint, um, and, you know, we'll make a bonnet scoop that's going to cost me bugger all. It might cost me, I don't know, what's probably about twenty bucks for the panel steel, um, and I'll get the, the place to, um, put the main bends in it and um, I'll finish the rest and um, I'll probably make a bolt on so that's the bonnet um, all but finished at this stage so it's way better way nicer um, and at least now I can move on to another bit and carry that get that done I'll finish um, we'll finish stripping this off at some point and then turn it over and and um, again do the um, paint stripper on the inside and get that all cleaned up so yeah another another step closer but what do that'll do for the weekend um, it's pissing down with rain now and I had to push the car back inside to um, get it back in out of the weather alrighty cheers